Today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. A lot of people have been asking and asking for me to do one, so I'm here today to give you one. I have lighting. I don't know how good or how bad it looks, so bear with me. My skin looks horrible. I'm having some breakouts. It's okay. I'm going to show you how to cover them. I already did my eyebrows because they take the longest, I feel like. All the detail that goes into them is just extensive, so I did it before. Um, so what I'm going to show you is just something I do on a daily basis and when I say on a daily basis I don't wear makeup every day I do not so what I'm going to show you is what I do when I want to put my makeup on and look put together but not go all out with my makeup I have this little bin right here with everything that I use on a daily basis I mean it looks crazy but I promise it's not and then I use beauty blenders to put my foundation on um this one is the wet and wild sponge oh, this thing was like three bucks go get you one it's amazing it's super soft make sure you wet them before you use them just run it under the tap water squish it squish it and then get a towel and squish it in between that gets any other excess water out so since i'm doing minimal makeup today um I'm gonna start with my face first. I already moisturized my skin with this one, this lotion. It says it's an anti-wrinkle skin cream. We wanna look young forever. <laughs> We're gonna prime our face. We're gonna prime our skin. I'm using the Maybelline Prime Light. It's reflective, I'm sorry guys. So this is actually a strobing effect. Primer. So what it does, it, it, it gives you like a, a glow. So what I take is a small amount, about that much. That's for the whole face. So I rub it between my fingers and then I pat in the areas that I want it. Also, this primer is like a pore filling primer. If I'm looking to the side, guys, it's because I have a little mirror. So I'm going to be looking to the side here and there. You want to be gentle with the under eye because that is the area that's going to be more fragile on your face. You can get wrinkles really easy under there. So you want to take the ring finger and just tap lightly. And you want to tap in the primer. Okay, so once it's tapped in and primed, you want to let it sit for a little bit just so that it has time to sit into your skin. I'm going to get my little beauty blender. So the foundation that I'm going to be using is a high coverage foundation. It is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Light Beige 03. I love this foundation. And then I'm going to use the Conceal and Perfect Milani Longwear Concealer. This one's in the shade Light Natural and 125. First, I'm gonna go in and shake the foundation. And I just put one pump on my hand. It's on my hand, that's one pump. It's kind of stiff. So what I'm gonna do is just run it around because when you do it with your finger, it just warms up the product. So I'm just gonna put it on my skin. In the area that I feel need more coverage, I'm gonna put foundation on that area. So you're just gonna pounce it on your hand, start pouncing it on your face. Wetting the beauty blender will all, also like help your skin look more, more glowy, more like skin. You also wanna run it down to your neck so that it blends and it looks like it matches. And if I need more foundation, I'll squeeze about half a pump out and I'll go from there. I'm staying away from the under eye section because I'm gonna put concealer on there and I don't wanna look like a cake. So I stay away from the under eye because I'm gonna put product on there as it is. I don't wanna put too much product because it will look um, cakey. Once your foundation is as blended in as you want it, then you can move on to concealer. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my concealer. It has a doe foot applicator. And then I just take excess amounts out and I'll use that instead of putting the applicator on my face. What I do is I put a dot 
three dots. I do one on the inner corner, one on the bottom, and one on the side. And then some people put some right here. That just creates like a highlight effect. I did put some lip balm on because your lips, this weather doesn't help. It makes it look so chapped. And if you're gonna wear lip gloss or lipstick, you definitely want some chapstick. So you just wanna blend it out. Blend it out as much as you can. Also, you can run it onto your eyelid. That'll act as a primer for your eyeshadow. So the powder that I use under my eyes, the Kat Von D Contour Palette. This comes with six shades. As you can see, which one I use is the one I hit pan on. Um, I take the beauty blend like this, and so that gets some product on. Since it's wet or damp, you can say it's damp, it'll help it look more like skin. It won't look cakey. So then you just want to take it. Anywhere you put concealer is where you want to put that powder. What you want to do is you just want to set your foundation. I just use a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 136. You can see that but it's just a really fluffy brush and then I use the Milani powder in natural 04 that light is really glary so this is what it looks like and I just take a little bit guys and then I tap off the excess and then just set the rest of my skin. you always want to run down any product you've used on your face run it down to your neck so you look natural and don't look like you have a mask on contour next thing I do is I contour so this is the brush I use to contour. And I use the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Oh my goodness, guys, this smells so amazing. It smells like chocolate. It does. That's the color. You wanna make a fish face and pull your lips to the opposite side of the way that you're working. You want to brown to your hairline because the foundation might like make you look a little crazy. I just put a little bit down my nose. I don't really contour. Next thing I'm going to do is take some blush. I have the Milani blush in Dolce Pink. So I love this color guys. The BH Cosmetics blush brush. It's a beautiful brush. If you want a good affordable brand guys for some makeup brushes, the BH Cosmetics line is amazing. They have some brush some brush sets for the low low. Thank me later. Go buy some. What I've learned with my blush is that you want to pounce your brush. You don't want to drag it because it'll look more powdery like that. You want to start from the apples of your cheeks and run it back. The next thing I'm going to do is hydrolyzed skin finish from MAC in soft and gentle. Oh my goodness. I love this highlight, guys. It's amazing. Laura Geller. It's called, it's all messed up. Don't mind it, but it's beautiful. It's like a goldy color. And then the other one's more of a champagne. More, more of a champagne than a gold. Let's put them next to each other, I guess. Yep, you see that? This one's more gold. I'm gonna go with the gold one today. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I don't. Today I am. But first what I'm gonna do is a little trick for you guys. I'm gonna set my face with the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. So that's what it looks like. This is also a drugstore product. It was about four bucks, I believe. I love it guys, it's really good for you. So just shake it apart and then spray it on your face. This helps your foundation look not as powdery. It also gives you like a glowy finish. Go ahead and do that really fast, and then right after you sprayed your face, put your highlight on. That will help it look more luminous, more glowy. And then I put it on my cupid's bow. I'm gonna go in and set my eyelids with some setting powder. This is a what is this? A real technique, a real techniques setting brush. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This thing is my holy grail. I've had it since like day one. It smells amazing. So I can show you guys. It comes with a bunch of eyeshadows. Obviously the ones I've hit pan on are the ones that I've used the most. But when I tell you it smells like chocolate, I swear it does. So we're just gonna go in with a crease brush. 
I use a wet and wild crease brush. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna take this color over here. It's like a light brown and I just run it in my crease side to side. And kid you not, that's real realistically on an every day to day basis, if I do my makeup and I'm running late or the kids are going crazy, this is all I do, that's it. After that, sometimes if I get lucky, I'll put some eyeliner on. The eyeliner I use is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner. That's what it looks like and you just twist it open. It looks like this. So I'll just do like a little neutral color in my crease. I'll put the eyeliner on. That helps the eyes look so much more alive. So today, what I'm doing, well I do this every day or every day that I do my makeup. I do two eye mascara. A little tip for mascara, if you get it on your eyelid, don't touch it. Let it dry, get a Q-tip, wipe it off. I promise you it won't leave a mark and it'll come off one, two, three. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna put some mascara on the lower lashes. So I'm gonna put some lower lash mascara and then I'm just gonna put some highlight on the inner corner and some lip gloss and we're literally done, guys. I don't know how long that took, but that doesn't take me that long on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm in front of a mirror. Right now, I'm not in front of a mirror, so that makes it hard. But today, I'm just going to put some lip gloss on. I want to keep it simple. And then the lip gloss I'm using is the Cream Sheen Glass Mac in Be an Angel with Darling. All right, guys, so that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is what my everyday makeup looks like. Like I said, I don't wear makeup every day, but the days that I do want to look a little bit more put together and I have some time on my hands to do my makeup, this is what I'll do. It's a simple look, but it's cute. So if you guys like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below telling me what you guys want to see next. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.